Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Today I've got myself a wee tin of food. Uh, I like things in a tin, they're nice and easy. This one is from Branston, you know those guys that do the really nice pickle stuff. And this is Branston Beef Ravioli. So Branston are uh, branching out and they're doing ravioli now. Or maybe they've done ravioli for years, I don't know. Branston's not a brand that I really buy much of. I like Branston Pickle, but I have to be in the mood for it. I have to really want it. So sometimes I will go out and I'll be like, oh, I really fancy Branston Pickle. So I'll buy some, I'll have it once, and then the jar will go off in my fridge. Uh, but as far as Branston goes, I don't think I've really ever had anything Branston other than Branston Pickle. So I didn't even realize they did tin stuff until I was in... Where was I in? Um, it's one of those shops that has all kinds of different stuff. And it's also got an Iceland in it for some reason. Um, I forget the name of it. But yeah, I was in there. They had this beef ravioli. So I figured I'd give it a go. I think they had a few other Branston branded things as well. But I figured, I don't think I've ever reviewed ravioli on this channel before. So we'll give ravioli a go. So this is Branston's beef ravioli in a rich Thick tomatoey sauce. Sounds delicious. Tin ravioli mm, tends to be hit or miss. Uh, I don't really like the Heinz tin ravioli. I've had that before. So I never really get that. Normal ravioli that you can buy, like you can buy packets of the ravioli in like the fridge section, you get up with a nice sauce. That tends to be quite nice, but uh, tin ravioli, I find um, the stuff from Heinz is quite dry despite being drowned in sauce. So hopefully this will be quite nice. So let's have a wee read of the stuff in here. It is one of your five a day. So that'll be from the tomatoes, I'm assuming. Low in fat and sugar and free from artificial colours, flavours and preservatives. So that lovely pink colour is uh, the colour it comes in naturally. So let's uh, see if there's a blurby bit. Yes. Make every meal tasty with our beef ravioli and a rich, thick tomato -y sauce. It's a taste we know you'll love. Well, I'll be the judge. Shall I? So there's your list of ingredients. Reasonably conservative list of ingredients, actually, which is not bad. Um, it's 2.7% beef. <laughs> so they're beef raviolis with not a lot of beef in them. Um, it's mostly pasta, which is 45% uh, of its pasta. 26% tomato puree. Hmm, there you go. Uh, of course, you've got your uh, customer guarantee, etc. Copyright reserve branstonbeans.co.uk. Branston is a registered tra trademark of Mizcan Euro Limited and used under license. Mm. And best before end, see can end. At uh, the end of the cans, through the kitchen <laughs> where I took off. All right, uh, I've never seen this wee symbol before though. Love canned food. I don't mind canned food. There's quite a lot of things that come out of a can that I like. Chili, especially. Chili out of a can is delicious. Beans, baked beans, of course. Who doesn't love baked beans and sausages? Best thing ever. Uh, so I've made this in the microwave, the old microwave, uh, in a bowl. You can do it in a hob as well, but I didn't fancy dirtying a pot for the sake of some tin ravioli. Uh, so it takes about three minutes. So let's go through the nutritional information. It gives you uh, per 100 grams or per half a can, servings per can too. Um, I'm going to eat the whole can, but let's see what you've got per half a can. So 153 calories seems reasonable. Um, 2.6 grams of fat, 1.1 gram of saturates, it's reasonably low. 27.6 grams of carbs, which is uh, high-ish, but that's to be expected with pasta. 7.4 grams of which is sugar, 1.6 gram of fiber, 4 gram protein, and 1.09 grams of salt. That seems high in salt to me. Um, of course, I'm going to eat the whole can because this is my lunch, because I'm on my lunch. All right, let's uh, have a look at it, shall we? I've got my bowl here. I had a wee plate covering so it didn't splatter all over my microwave. I'm going to need a wee towel to pick this up and show it to you just because it's um, the bowl is quite hot. Oh, yeah. There you are. Ooh, I don't want it to spill everywhere. Ravi ravioles. Raviolis. Um, tomato sauce looks... Generic, generic tomato sauce, like the stuff you get out of a bean tin. Um, there's your ravioli right there. 
perfect squares, which uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Makes it feel less authentic, not very Italian. It's funny, I, I mean, do, do you get tinned ravioli in Italy? I'd really like to know if Italians eat tinned ravioli at all, or do they consider this an absolute abomination? So why do these British people always have to butcher our food, like putting donair on a pizza and things like that? Which is delicious, by the way. Anyway, let's uh, give it a shot then. So these are Branston beef ravioli. Let's give the old taste test. Mm hmm. Have another one. Oh, getting sauce over. It's hard to um, it's hard to break that down um, and taste all the individual bits because. As soon as you bite into it, it turns to mush. If you get a ravioli, a fresh ravioli, cooked properly, it'll still have a little bit of firmness to it. So you you can experience it. This is, the pasta is very much overcooked. As is most pasta you get out of tin, to be honest. That's why if you buy like spaghetti hoops, spaghetti letters or whatever, they fall apart because they're overcooked and they're really small. But yeah, um, largely inoffensive, I would say. The, um, the sauce is basically cheap, cheap tomato sauce. Not like ketchup, but it's the same tomato -y sauce that they put in beans and, uh, you know, generic beans, like like own brand beans. It's the same sort of sauce that you get in that, spaghetti hoops. Um, what else is there? Spaghetti letters, I guess. Um, it, it's the same generic tomato sauce that you get in that, you know, there's not no complexity to it. It's basically just tomato -y, a bit sweet. Um, yeah. Like, reasonably inoffensive, it's quite nice, it's just, there's nothing special, no complexity to it whatsoever. Calling it a rich tomato sauce. Mm, I think that's a bit rich, to be honest. Um, is it thick? It's thick enough, I would say. It is thick enough. As thick as you would expect it coming out of a tin anyway. The raviolis are uh, overcooked, as you would expect, for any tinned pasta, really. So that's disappointing, but not unexpected. Uh, the beef, as far as the beef goes, I mean, look how flat that has. Right? You can barely tell there's any beef in there. You can't really taste the beef. There's no flavour to it. There's not enough of it in there to provide any kind of texture or anything. So, yeah. A bit boring. Um, overall, it's okay. It's a bit boring, I'll be honest. It's... Um, the actual raviolis themselves have no... They don't have a good, good texture, so they don't have a great bite to them. They're just soft. Um... There's, the beef doesn't provide it anything. You could literally not put any beef in there and you wouldn't even notice. Um, so that, that doesn't add any flavour. It's basically just bits of pasta in a tomato -y sauce. You're as well just eating a bowl of spaghetti hoops, to be honest. Um, don't get me wrong, it is quite nice. I, I like this sort of stuff. Cheap, cheerful, you know, fills your belly. I could put a bit of cheese on there, maybe add a few herbs of my own to use it up a bit if I wanted. I'm not going to because I can't be bothered grating cheese. But yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. It's pretty much what I expected. Uh, so yeah, not really much more to add than that. 
Well, that'll do. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the wee bell to get notifications anytime a new video comes out. And of course, let me know, have you tried any other Branston products? I want to know what other Branston stuff there is, because I've seen stuff like Branston A's. Branston A's? Branston mayonnaise? It's like mayonnaise with Branston pickle fruit or something. That, now that sounds like something I've got to try. I'm going to try and find that. But uh, yeah, let me know what's your favourite ravioli, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just leave comments. I like comments. Engage with my channel, please. It's nice. It's nice to talk to you. Uh, but that'll do. And it's been a pleasure. I will catch you all in the next video. I'll see you then. Cheers.